hi and welcome to my channel my name is francisca and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to attach crinoline to your flare or to your peplum to make it you know stand out really really nice if you're new here please click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and let's get right into the video so i have cut my peplum out for both the fabric and the lining that i will be using this is what i have so guys what i'm working with is a 720 degree peplum if you don't know how to cut your circle flare or your peplum i have tutorials on how you can do that whether it is 360 it is a 720 or it is 1440 degree flare i have tutorials on how you can do that and i'll link them up in the description box so what i have here is a 720 degree flare that is why it is cut into two each one is 360 degree flare and each one was cut to around my waist measurement so i have like double my waist measurement here the reason i doubled it is because i want to pleat this flare this peplum to have lots of folds going on so that's why i made this 720 degree flare with extra allowance for pleats i hope you understand that so i'll just go ahead and cut open the side i'll do the same thing for my lining and then i'll join everything up together to have like a very very you know long flare I'm all done joining the peplum pieces together for both the main fabric and the lining fabric. I added fusible interfacing to the main fabric because I wanted it to be a little thicker. So what I'm going to do now is to place the lining on top of the main fabric with right sides touching. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll ensure that the seams match. We're going to be attaching the crinoline or horse hair braid we're going to be attaching that to the bottom of the flare or peplum so i'm going to place it like this can you see i'm going to place it like this and then i'll pin this down right before we attach the horse hair braid i'm going to pin my peplum down so that the lining doesn't move or shift while we are sewing so i'll just go ahead and do that now after i have pinned my peplum the lining to the main fabric this is what i have i like to pin this down because the type of lining i used is a type that stretches so if i don't do this i will finish sewing and i'll end up with my flare peplum out of shape so that's why i like to pin it down especially around the places that i'm going to sew so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine now and show you how i attach my crinoline to make this flare to stand really nice this is what crinoline looks like this is what it looks like it's called crinoline or horse hair braid it comes in different sizes and colors what i have here is a three inch crinoline i think it's about it's more than a little bit more than three inch though so i'm going to be using this for the tutorial so i always like to do this for my crinoline because it helps the raw edges to stay hidden those edges can be quite stabby and it can make you uncomfortable if you don't conceal it with a bias tape so this is called hemming tape i'm going to be using this in this tutorial i'll be sewing it where i'm sewing the crinoline so i'll just place it on top and you know start sewing I'm going to be sewing my crinoline to my peplum to the bottom of the peplum with a half an inch seam allowance so I'll be attaching this hemming tape to it such that by the time I finish sewing and I press this area down with my pressing iron the heat would activate the gum in it such that it would you know glue to my fabric very well so the crinoline will glue to my fabric it will give it a better hold so i'm going to be sewing this now with a half an inch seam allowance please i want to advise that when sewing your crinoline to your um peplum please do not stretch it while you are sewing i hope you understand that do not stretch it if you stretch it you will not have that fullness that you are looking for so i'll just place it like this ensure that there is no tension 
very very important ensure that there is no tension and then i'm going to start stitching so do not attempt to pull your crinoline while you are sewing i'm almost at the end of the peplum and what i did here was to also use a bias tape to conceal the raw edge so that this crinoline does not stab me so i'll just go ahead and finish that up so what we want to do to ensure that this crinoline lays nicely is to do a top stitch so we'll be doing that on the lining so what i'm doing right now is a top stitch towards my lining what i did was to fold the seam allowance on the inside fold it towards the lining fabric and i'm stitching on the lining i hope we understood that so i'll just continue stitching after top stitching this is what i have this is what it looks like i haven't joined the sides yet so what i'm going to do right now is to just fold this in like this so we can close up the sides so i'll just fold it like this the two sides i'll fold it like this take it to my sewing machine and sew with a half an inch seam allowance do the same thing for this side as well i'll take it to my sewing machine and sew with a half an inch seam allowance on this other side as well so when i'm done sewing i'll go ahead and press this down with a hot iron in order to activate the hemming gum that we have here so that's what i'm going to do with this after i'm done sewing the sides and then of course i'm going to sew off the top so that the lining can balance well against the fabric and then i'll show you guys how the peplum looks with the crinoline once you press your hemming tape around where you sewed it it will activate the glue in it such that the glue will gum the crinoline to your fabric giving it more hold that is why my crinoline is sitting in my fabric really really nicely as you can see putting hemming tape while sewing is actually of great benefit when you're making something like this so can you see how bouncy this looks this is really nice like the peplum is really standing well and the fact that i added allowance for pleats gave it a lot of fold at the bottom so this is what i have please give this video a thumbs up click the subscribe button if you haven't and i'm going to be seeing you in my next video bye